Hey y'all, it has already been a very busy, busy Friday, TGIF. I hope everybody is doing well, blessed, prosperous, walking in good health, and every need being met by our Heavenly Father. Amen. Y'all, I have um, been uh, with my mother most of today, um, of course, working. Um, currently on my lunch break, I'm getting ready to go pick up her birthday cake. I'm doing that, and then I'll be going back to her house um, to uh, work out the rest of the day. But y'all, I wanted to come on to and just piggyback off of the video that I did yesterday or whenever it was uh, that y'all saw it. I, I been did it, but you know how we can program or schedule videos to be released to the YouTube streets. Uh -huh. um, about that uh Tessa Ressa, Ressa Tessa, I hope I'm saying it the right way. And she did that 50 part series on TikTok, Who the Bleep Did I Marry? And one of the things I also wanted to talk about uh, as a spinoff too, that she talked about much in those 50 parts that she shared with the world was the red flags. And that's what I want to talk about, the red, red flags. You know, whether you want to name it red flags, then hopefully you trust your gut, you trust your instincts, you trust your intuition. And you know, all those things are given to us from our Heavenly Father freely. And we've heard the story about, you know, the, the person that wanted to be saved. And the Lord said, well, I sent you the people in the ship. I sent you a pe person in a raft and to, so that you can hop onto the raft. And, and so you went drown. Or I sent, you know, a helicopter and, and, and lowered the, the ladder so you could climb up so you wouldn't be consumed by the ocean. And you just te kept telling them to go on, go on, go on. And then you finally make it heavy. You say, well, Lord, why come you didn't help me? Why come you didn't, say, why come you didn't try to save me? And he said, well, well didn't you see the, the the big old ship I sent? Didn't you see the helicopter with the ladder? Didn't you see that? And so that's the thing that we have to remember and learn from those situations that happen in our life. And like I said, none of us are exempt. In some way, shape, form, we all have had that okie doke people showing us who who we are who they are but we didn't believe them the first time they showed us who they were the second time they showed us who they were the third time and we still didn't believe it because there's that thing in us where we want to have hope that people will do better we want to have hope that people would change from their ways of just whatever that is is we, we do. We all have that hope. So we just keep on, keep on, keep on, keep it on, keep it on. And then the next thing we know, we look in our storehouse. It's empty. We look in our virtue can, and it's empty. We look at all these different things when we need to feed from it, and it's empty. Why? Because we have given out and poured out so much to one person or to many people and now we don't even have anything left to tap into because we what we missed a red flag we thought we were helping but we weren't really helping we were continually continually continuously enabling a person to continue on in their again pathological lying compulsive lying getting over, being manip manipulative, being narcissistic, all those things. We, we, we feel like we're helping, but once we see perpetually us continuing to do the same thing with people and getting the same results, there's your answer. There's your light bulb epiphany again red flag moment where you have to say you know what no matter how you do it well let me do it this
this way this time. Well, let me add a little bit of this to it this time when I saw that red flag. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. So, so now, so you know what I got to thinking about when I thought about red flag? I think I shared with you all when I was listening to uh, these men who were like professional criminals. They were just, I mean, the, the, the courts, the judge, the court system, the penal system labeled them as professional criminals I mean I, I mean there is such a thing where people they do nothing but crime that that's all they do so they're categorized that way and every time these pro professional criminals would go to jail you know you would think they would try to do better so they wouldn't find themselves back in jail again you would think that they would try to do better so that they wouldn't find themselves being pulled away from their families, pulled away from their children, their loved ones, their wives, their 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 life partners, or whatever that is, whoever, you know, and, and, or you start a new job, and then now you got to be pulled off this job, you lose a job, why? Because now you are back in jail because you've done the same thing, and instead of you focusing in on and putting all that effort into and putting your zeal and, and skill set and just learning, learning, and not doing the same thing over and over, getting the same results, because then we know that what is insanity. Instead of them trying to do better like that, you know what they were doing? And it blew my mind when I, but I, but I, I but I'm, I'm thinking about these people when we talk about folk who are for, who are pathological liars or compulsive liars or people that you know it seems you seem to not be able to reach. You, you almost drove yourself crazy trying to help them. Those criminals, instead of them trying to do better, they, when they went to jail, good God Almighty, they used to sit and talk amongst themselves and, and say, you know what? This is what we need to do so we don't get caught. So it, 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 the, conversation, <laughs> the conversation was never about, you know what? I'm just ain't gonna do it no more because uh, guess what? Every time I do this or commit this crime, I'm getting the same results. Just like one of you said in the comment section. I think it was Damon. He said, you know, uh, a pathological liar, they, they even lie to themselves and they believe the lie they told themselves. I said, oh my God. And I'm paraphrasing. And others of you said, you know, hey, they, 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 a pathological or compulsive liar, they don't care that they tell lies. It, 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 it's about bringing attention to themselves. So again, when those, when those men were talking about how, you know, and it's no different than how, as we sit here and talk about this Ressa Tessa situation about who the bleep did she marry and I'm listening to and remembering when I was listening to those men talk about how they weren't trying to do better they weren't no uh, -uh. you know what they were trying to do better they were trying to do their crime better so that they could get away with it see they felt like just like I'm sitting up here saying how we will do, we will say stuff like, oh, what do I need to do? Maybe if I say it to them this way, it'll click. Maybe if I say it to them that way, it'll click. Maybe if I put a little sugar on it with spice and nutmeg, then maybe, see, it's no different than us. Us wanting to help people help themselves get up and get over. And, and we keep doing that and we get the same results and that it's not clicking for them. It's no different than that criminal that's out there that get locked up over and over and over and over again. And instead of their conversation being about doing what's right, could God Almighty, they in the jail taking notes, comparing notes, and saying, man, you know why you got caught? Now, keep in mind, both, uh, both of them, all of them are caught and in jail. But they sitting up here trying to tell each other Okay, we, when we get out this time, this is the way we need to do it. Every 
every other way that they've been doing it, all of them got caught. And they find themselves what? Back in the same situation. Back in the same situation, but they're constantly in there talking, comparing notes and saying, okay, look, this is what we need to do at this time. You should have came out the store five minutes earlier. So instead of coming out five minutes earlier, the next time, come out seven minutes earlier. Because, you know, the cops take about this amount of time to get to the store. And we cut ourselves short being greedy, trying to get extra money out the cash register. We should have just been okay with getting the 5000 that was in the safe. But you were spending too much time trying to get the money out the cash register. We had already got all the money out the safe. So, 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 they sitting up here talking and telling each other and boosting each other up. Okay, when we get out this time, we're going to do it like this. Because we'll have a better chance of what? Escaping. So, again, that same mindset that they had about doing the crime better is no different than the same thing we sometimes say when we're trying to help people but we still get the same results from putting all of our pearls out there for them and it doesn't click and, and here we are trying to think of ways to do it better so that they'll be better I said good God Almighty so that's why come when the word truly says the Lord is not going to put no more on us than we can bear. See, if we continue to fool around and mess around with folk, and they've showed us not one time, not two times, not three times, not four times, not five times, not six times, not seven times, that you have to just say, you know what? I've done all I can do. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stand right here now. I'm not going to go down this road with you anymore. When you've done all you can do, you have to just stand. So, Again, red flags are so important. Your intuition, your gut are so important. Now, again, the question is how long or how far are you going to jump? In one quarter mile, are you going to jump down that rabbit hole? to help somebody that's the question and what what you have to count up the cost have you count up the cost and see that's what that recitessa girl woman had to she had to count up the cost and say uh-uh enough is enough she had spent she had cried she had sucked in her pride and said this is enough so red flags are very important We've all had them and we all ignored them. We all did the, Lord, why come you didn't help me uh, at, at, at stop sign number one, two, or three? Oh, I, I, I did. I, 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 I showed you. I sent you this. I sent you that. But you ignored it. You, you hit the dismiss button. So, again, be aware of those red flags, y'all. All right? All right, y'all. Love you. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm downtown in another city, a couple of cities over, and getting mom's cake. Hey, y'all. I was extremely busy this weekend, and so you're only going to get little snippets here and there. Uh, I was doing a lot with mom and for mom, and my whole focus was to get things in place for, to celebrate her 75th birthday Mom's cake. Hey y'all, here are the decorations for the outside. Just something simple. Got mom a banner. 75. And you know my mom. My latter years will be greater than my former. Job 8 and 7. And y'all, I'm hostessing with the most of things, so I'm just going to be giving you little clips here and there because I'm a greeter at the door. I got my jumpsuit on outfit of the day. Ladies, what you got to say? And yeah. <laughs>